Hey guys, this is Jim Merritt in beautiful Wilmington, North Carolina with Quick Trainer Incorporated, your QuickBooks and Accounting Experts. I had a question come up last week. Um, actually, two questions come from two different clients and they're really, um, they have the same answer, um, although they're slightly different. Um, so here's the scenario. One client wants to know, hey Jim, I sometimes pay uh, some expenses on behalf of a client of mine and that client then reimburses me. And then the second question from a different client said, hey Jim, I'm a consultant, I often travel and my client reimburses me for things like airfare and um, lodging and meals and supplies that I might purchase like aerial photographs so I thought I would take a, a few minutes and make this video um, to answer both clients questions and hopefully to help others out there who might have um, the same question so here we go um, first of all I want to say that you can do this um, uh, through uh, posting expenses directly to a general ledger account. In fact, let me back up one here. Here's a check I recorded uh, to Duke Progress Energy, which is the electric provider in the North Carolina area. And um, I used the expenses tab and posted directly to electric with the memo electric bill. And here's where I said, all right, this this expense is eligible to be billed back to my client, all right? And if I look at an invoice now, and um, I type in that client's name, remember the client is ABC customer, so I put it ABC customer here, um, I'm prompted that there's something out there that uh, needs my attention that's billable. And uh, there it is, there's the $123. Um, now, here's what I don't like about that, okay, there's the $123, the $123 is, there is no item associated with this, so it could make it a little more difficult to do reports um, on this, which is why I'm going to say the next thing. I would prefer not to do it this way, okay, I just want to let you know it will work, but I would rather use items instead. So um, let's get rid of this um, line and let's go over here instead and let's set up an item that we can use. Now let's talk about items for just a second here. Um, if I go to my item list you will see that I've already got a few items set up and I set them all up underneath um, an item called reimburse or uh, I shortened it but that stands for reimbursement and I do this for organizational purposes only just so that you can have all of those items that you might be eligible for reimbursement from clients together just makes it easier to find them in fact let me just show you this if I type in RE here then I immediately get all of my reimbursable items here okay if I had these um, oops sorry if I had these uh, if I didn't have these associated with this item here then these would just fall by default at least in alphabetical order although I can sort them in different ways so anyway I recommend you put them together so I'm going to create a new item and I want you to know I can do this from this page um, or earlier when I started to write the check, I could also do it from this page. It yields me the same result, okay? Um, in fact, instead of doing it from this page, uh, let me show you how you would start it from this page. If I just right click and select new, there I can start my new item. But I can also come over here to my uh, check writing screen, or I could do this from an invoice as well. And uh, let's just call this um, electric. Um, and I'll say yes. So I typed in electric and then I tab to go to the next field. QuickBooks says didn't find that. And I say yes, I'd like to set it up now. 
So here I am back to the screen I showed you when I was over here. I'm going to make this an other charge. And um, in fact, let's call it, um, let's call it electric, well, that's fine. And we'll associate it as a sub item of reimbursement. And I do want to select this box. When I select this box, it creates what we refer to as a double-sided item. Double-sided meaning this is the cost side of the item. So in other words, when I use this on a check, or this item on a bill, or this item on a credit card, it's going to flow to whatever account I select right here. And then when I use it on an invoice, it's going to flow to whatever item I select over here. All right, makes sense? All right, so we'll say this is an electric um, expense, and um, it would go to the electric um, general ledger account under utilities. And here we'll say it's uh, electric reimbursement. Okay and it's non-taxable and I'm going to direct it to an income account called reimbursement for expenses. Now there are two schools of thoughts on this and I don't care which way you do it just pick one and be consistent. Instead of treating it as reimbursable income we could also record it to the General Electric I'm sorry, the general ledger expense account, and it the two expenses would just offset each other. So if my bill was $100 and I got reimbursed by my client for $100, then those two transactions just wash. Um, so those are basically the two schools of thought. <clears throat> I'm going to select to just have the expense go to a general ledger account called electric and have the um, reimbursement go to an income account called reimbursement for expenses. And you may want to consult with your CPA to see how he or she would have you handle that. But that's all there is to it. All right. So now um, I record my um, electric expense. Let's say that it was $245.78. And then I notate what client I'm going to re- or yeah, what client I'm going to be reimbursed from. And when I do that, it immediately marks it as billable. Billable meaning that that's what prompts it on an invoice to show up. All right, now it is important that I fill in this part here as well. Okay, and um, here we may put, um, you know, the account number, if, especially if I was printing checks, um, because this account number would then show up in the memo of the check. All right, so that's that. Save and close. Now, let me get out of um, this for a second, and let me go back to an invoice. Now, when I put in ABC customer now, I'm immediately um, greeted with this screen here. And if I look over here, there's my items that I set up for reimbursement. And when I select OK, now I have an item that I can do reports on. Okay, and I'll come back to that in just a few minutes. All right, so I'm going to save that. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. It's prompting me for this because I've got it set up to email later. There we go. All right. And I'm also going to get rid of that other check here because I don't want that to confuse us later. All right. So... You know, if I incur an expense um, for, let's say, um, aerial photos, there it is. And again, if we go back and we look at these items and the way they, they're set up, aerial photos, um, it points to a cost of goods account. It, you may want to point it to another expense type account, but it still points to reimbursement for supplies. Notice here I've got aerial photo expense, aerial photos reimbursement, same thing for airfare, airfare expense, airfare reimbursement, the cost side, the expense side points to airfare, the income side points to reimbursement for expenses. 
and I did that for lodging as well, just so you get the idea here. It's pretty simple, actually. Um, so let's say I encounter, you know, some of these. Um, we are aerial photos is the name of this vendor, and um, $111, $110. Okay, and uh, I want to record this to ABC customer as billable. Okay, and uh, all right, so save and close. Here, let's do one more. Um, Motel 6 for our lodging. And we'll say uh, lodging. ABC customer. And that's billable. All right. So I hope that part makes sense. Now, when I come back in here and I put an ABC customer, it's going to let me know there's stuff out there waiting. There's those two right there. Okay. Um, and um, that's how you handle it. Now, if I look at a profit and loss statement, okay, um, you can see my reimbursement for expenses are right here. And then um, my electric is right there. Probably should save this. Okay. And, all right, so now here we get the full picture. There's the two invoices I've created. There's the one that's got the um, lodging and the aerial. There's the one who has the uh, electric reimbursement. There's the aerial photographs here. And there's the electric here. And here's the photo here. However, I can also report on items as well. If I wanted to come over here and say, uh, item profitability for example see i've got these items now that i can report on and in this case unless you're marking up your reimbursements um you know you should have a difference of zeros on these um although it's possible that you could have um that you could have paid for something that you hadn't yet invoiced all right anyway hope this helps guys um if you have any questions by all means feel free to comment on this video and um, you can also reach out to us at info at quicktrainer.biz. That's info at quicktrainer.biz, B-I-Z. Our phone number, 910-338-0488. Make it a great day.